Hi, I'm Patrick, and today I want to show you how to get started with the Spiral Micro Tesla from Electro. It was published in the November issue 2017, and it comes on a PCB, which is, as you can see, already assembled with the SMD components. The only thing you have to do is add the through hole components. And let's get started with this needle holder, which has to come here, right in the middle of the coil. Let's turn it around. First we heat the path and the lead. We add some solder. We move and one solder joint is ready. Next is this connector, which can be used to program the controller. We always solder, we start with soldering the lowest component and then go all the way through till the highest component. So, the last one. Here we have the connector. Next is a switch which has to come here like this. Here we go. And the switch is on. Next are these three ceramic capacitors and as they are not polarity sensitive you can put them in as you like. Second and the third. Turn the PCB around and start to solder again. Check if they are nicely placed. Yes, they are. Now we solder the other leads. Yeah. Now we cut off the leads because they are a bit too long. this nice and next are the electrolytical capacitors which are polarity sensitive as you can see these are zeros this is the negative side of the capacitors and the long lead is a positive side so the long lead has to go at the plus like this. We'll do some more. Another one. Long lead at plus. Because if you do this not correctly, the capacitors will really blow up. So it's important to get this right. Cut off the leaves again. Oh, nice and tidy. Now the other ones. Turn the PCB around again and we can start soldering. Cut out the leads again. And now all the components are on and at this point we can already test the project before we do the casing and all the rest of the stuff. Let's take the power adapter, plug it in. We have this USB connector. OK, 
Okay. Let's put a, a needle. And we see it's working already. Doubles the frequency. And again. We have some nice sounds also. These sounds you also can program. Okay, we can switch it off and put on the case. Let's see, here we have some screws and bolts and standoffs, which we can now do like this. Just hand tighten is enough. Also, same procedure, third, and the last one goes like this. Now we can place the bottom plate, fasten it, and the last one. Let's turn it around, and we have the top plate, which goes on, let's see, like this. Nice. Then we have some pads for on the bottom. Here we go. Put in the needle. Power it up again. And we have one ready built project. Here we go. Nicely. So, this is it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.